Hey, what's up, YouTube? So I told you I'd be back at the observatory. Here I am. Now, when you're a human, he'll let you look at his telescope all you want. We're looking for something to show. There it is. Since we bought this guy's flower, he's got to go to his little storage unit. If you know what I mean. To drop off some uh, supplies. You may have remembered last time I went to go grab a 100 rupee. That may have stuck out as odd to you, but uh, you'll soon see why I went to go grab that 100 rupee. You will also notice some other things that are a little odd during this LP. Like suddenly my name is different and the code is different. Well, that's because there was a recording error. So I said, screw it. Let's use the N64. And here we are. So I'm using my N64 controller. I'm using my N64. It's a lovely time. I'm gonna have an easier time putting in songs. Everybody's gonna have a good time. So, in order to get out of town, you need to have a sword. And he goes, hey, you got a sword. All right, see ya. Even though it's really more like a dagger. If you remember the hole that guy went into, it's right over here. And you see a guy in that tree. He How about a hundred? No problem, I got a hundred. I'll take that piece of heart. Oh, I gotta get out of here! And he gets the hell out of here because he's paranoid of the FBI or something because he's selling counterfeit copies of games by Microsoft and Nintendo and Sony. And they're all in those bags and there's an emulator inside of his butt and he's gonna poop it out and that's my funny joke for the day. Oh man, you see, like, that's why I don't like it because it's not funny. Like, when people do that shit, it's just, it's not funny. We're gonna go over here and hit an owl statue. You remember from last time I hit an owl statue for fun. Not really, it wasn't for fun. It was because when you hit owl statues, you can teleport to them. And after we finish the first temple, we will be able to call upon this ability. So that'll be really cool. The Song of Soaring is a very useful song in this game. You probably play it almost as much as, if not more, than the uh, Song of Time. Because I really, 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 really need a mask from that area. Also, during one of the nights, we're going to... Well, what'll probably happen is if I play my cards right, and I'm pretty good with a with a hand of cards. I mean, as long as they're not Yu-Gi-Oh cards or Pokemon trading cards. I'm pretty good with them. So hopefully I'm going to play them right. And what will happen is by nighttime I'll have finished the temple. And all of the little side gigs that I have to do before nighttime. So what's going to happen is I'm going to head in there. I'm going to do two or three piece of heart quests. I'm not sure how many I'm going to end up doing. And if it's nighttime... When I exit the temple, and it just started to be nighttime, what I'll end up doing is uh, there's a little place called the Gold Skeleta House thing, and I'm going to complete that. If it's still nighttime when I'm done there, I'm going to go back to town. I'm going to talk to a man who's going to give me a mask. If it becomes the second day, I'm going to get a different mask, and then. Uh, probably think to myself about what else I can do I'm like there's gonna be some mini games I can play after this temple so I might do those it depends on what happens so dependent on how well I play and how lucky I am and how quickly I can get through the various sections that I will be going through which I will be going through as fast as possible mind you and uh, depending on how fast I can do all this shit we might see a lot today, we might see a little bit. All I know is I'm going to make the most use of the time given to me. Which is what you should be doing in this game. Because like I said in an earlier episode, but I cut off the first half of it. If you don't do the most you can with the time given to you in these segments. Alright, I accidentally the bats. Right. There's one more bat. Manual aim. And as you can see, with one manually aimed shot, I hit it. 
there's a piece of heart up in this tree if you were wondering why I was going out of my way to do all this. Now in the first episode when I said I was being Thrift Ox the Spender. So, first thing I'm going to do is because I know I'm going to be coming back here at some point, there's going to be something that I don't get to finish or I might forget how to do properly. As you can see, we have that deed. I went out of my way to get the deed in the last episode. And then we cut to where we are now. The reason why I did that is because this bad boy is looking for a place in the city. Uh, there's only one city I know of, and it's called Clocktown. So, bada bing, we get the green deed. Eventually, we're going to be coming back to this guy and getting his deed again. And we're going to keep doing this every uh, every time but since I showed that I got these deeds I'm going to just assume that you remember how or that you have the presence of mind to go back to a previous episode where I got these deeds deed that I'm giving out that if you go to the last episode it will be there you just have to watch it I'm sorry sorry that I am requiring you to watch things sorry that I'm asking of you to do the very thing that you come on YouTube to do. Sorry, fans. Sorry, viewers. Fucking, you're just such babies. Follow a monkey. Uh, so I'll show you how to follow this monkey. First way he's gonna go is left. Then he's gonna go to the right. Yep, no, I don't remember right. This is when he goes straight through. First one goes to the right. Then he goes straight through. Then we go to the left, and then we go to the left. Gonna abandon the monkey because he's too slow. Come on, I don't have this. I don't have the time to wait for you, monkey. You take off your mask. You talk to the lady, and she goes, "Ow, help!" And she'll explain what was going on with her. So we're gonna get our first bottle. Spoilers. By talking to her, and then she gasps because she's an old lady, and that's what old ladies do. If you haven't played this game before, you can buy it on Amazon used for a very low amount of money. You can get an N64 for like five to ten dollars that's almost new. So there's no reason for you not to buy and play this game. And you should buy and play this game because Nintendo needs the money. Now don't use the potion until you talk to her. Very important. All right, newbies. So just because they used an absolute an obsolete technology that doesn't age well, it doesn't mean that you can buy their game and then play it on an emulator because you didn't give them the money that they could have had if you just bought another one. So for some reason it turns you to an exit that you can't really use. All right, now the monkeys come here because you have to go help the monkey. You know what I mean? Blah, blah, blah. Here, you can go on the tour for free. Woohoo, let's go on a tour. So, this is a pictograph box. You use this for, I believe, up to two different things, but don't quote me, because I don't really remember. It's kind of almost hidden, but the reason why they give you um, a piece of heart for it is because you learn a little bit about Tingle's character by doing that. So we'll talk to this monkey here. And by talk to it, I mean we'll follow it in. The monkeys basically are here to lead you to go here. Uh, if you don't go here, uh, good luck. We're going to be getting three magic beans because regardless of how much time is left by the time we time, we're going to have to time, you know what I'm saying? Uh, first, we're going to get a piece of heart. Because you know what? I don't give a shit. From, uh, oh shit, what? What? He wasn't even looking at me, did you see that? Oh shit, what? Underneath the uh, platform. So at this point, if I get caught, since I got the piece of heart, not a big deal. Oh man, I really hate that those fucking things can hide these uh, foot soldiers. Sadly, he's in a pattern that I have to wait the longest to get by. Nice opening for me to get down here. They give you a little trial area. I have enough money to get four beans, so I'll just get four beans. So it never really tells you that you can't use the beans as a Deku shrub, but you can't use the beans as a Deku shrub. That I can do this again. And then you plant it, and you water it. Ah. So, then you ride on the platform. Platform will go sometimes up and around. Alright, so we're gonna go get a quick pictograph. You don't want to be too close to him. If you take the picture too close to this guy, you got nothing. Alright, 
So stay as far back as you can. Also, I have bombs, right? Okay, good. I have bombs. Um, I'm gonna need this. It is a little bit more difficult to jump to things when you're a Deku shrub because you don't really jump. Send that his way. Uh, you don't have to land on that. A lot of people go from flower to flower to flower. That takes like twice as long. If you know a bubble's going to hit the target, just get in the flower, save some time, you know. There's magic in these pots over here, so grab it. Uh, we're gonna skip this again. Oh, that's not good. We can't. Oh wait, maybe we can. Yeah, we can. We're going in. Now, I can't skip this flower. Oh wait, yes I can. Ooh, man, am I lucky today. Shit, dude. So, as lucky as it was that I could skip the middle segment, it wasn't that lucky. I still lost a bit of time. Alright, so we're just gonna jump down here, pull out our ocarina. Or not. There. Sometimes you have to lock on him to do it, sometimes you don't. By the way, who are you? And then you fall over because anime lol. That distracts the king. Who looks over here. He's gonna teach us a song. Now you have to be careful. Ah, see that? They default to no. So that if you keep tapping A, you have to sit through this crap again. So he's gonna teach us the Sonata of Awakening. Boom, boom, boom. Take a shit then. Go to bed. Alright, that's what you gotta do. No, I'm not going to put these songs in like I'm actually playing them. I've seen, I think Chugga Conroy did that, and I was like, that's so needless and dumb. <laughs> Way to elongate your videos, Chugga. Which he does a lot. I see him do a lot of stuff that's just padding. Also, there's, uh, I talked about in the first video and skipped over it because you know me with my editing skills. I have to skip over shit. But there's some shit that uh, these people that have a channel called Versus do, and they do some stuff that I can tell they're just trying to elongate their series so they lose things on purpose, and they aren't very good at faking it. But, uh, what are you gonna do? Let's get out of here. Hello. I'm outside. Boy vey. So since we did all that, we can go in here now. These are the bad boys. Gotcha. Getcha! Didn't get the other one, but I got the one guy. Which is technically what that means, but go kill yourselves. Just kidding. Suicide is a bad thing. And let's not, uh, let's not encourage that if we can help it. Thanks. Thanks, guys. I'm not PewDiePie. I don't make fun of suicide. I don't make fun of murder. Unless I'm making fun of how the song is portraying murder. Which, there's a whole lot of murder in this, uh, but not yet. Though I think it's justifiable, because uh, a lot of the times you have to kill people in this game, it's in self-defense, to be honest. The average black man dies, that's what one of my friends on Skype has as their status. I guess it's a ploy on how in horror movies black people die a lot, but that's not their fault, that's the writers. So, if you finish the temple, you can't turn in that picture, and then you'll be mad. You see that? There's a little owl statue over there that I want to hit, playing with, like, a weird instrument thing, and sings me a song about a dog. And then, then I will finish the temple. Oh boy, we're gonna play some mini games that could very well make me rage, as you kids say nowadays. But they can shoot you out of the sky, so you have to be careful. But as you can see, there's lots of treasure chests everywhere. Uh, we're gonna go after one after getting this, uh, this statue over here. Yeah, we should have plenty of time to do what I need to do. That makes me happy. I love when I make good time. Alright, now we have an owl statue that we can take advantage of later. So there's a five rupee thing in there. You may have noticed that there was a little Deku thing up there that is near where the cave is. Well, the reason why I'm not going to get it is because I don't need to go in that cave yet. It seems that it doesn't matter- Oh, fuck. Versus the, uh, power. It doesn't affect the power, which you'd think it would, but it does not. So as you can see, there's a treasure chest over there we're going towards. That's because I don't need to get to that flower. We're not going anywhere after this.
da 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 But uh, for now, going into the southern swamp. I guess I'm gonna get all them fairies. I'm gonna get all them fairies. I am just so funny. I'm a fairy. Oh, it's for humans only. Oh, jeez, just discrimination. Here you go, buddy. Now give me my piece of heart, thanks. But yeah, there's a bug where if you're too close to him, he'll say you didn't take the picture in the swamp. So let's go into the temple, shall we? It's not nighttime, so we don't have to go back to town. That was so fast that it registered a button press that I didn't do. That's pretty funny. So here's the temple. In case you couldn't fucking tell by the giant fucking sign that says, Hi, I'm a temple, which are those two uh, things there. Yes, I'm going to try to get all the pieces of heart. Yes, I'm going to get all the fairies forever. I might not get the ones in the Great Bay Temple just because they're so useless. Like, what's the point of the extra defense? You don't, you don't really plan on tanking hits anyway. So, unless, like... It was just for the sake of completion. There was no reason to get that power up. Actually, it is going to be too much of a problem. I forgot to do this the first time I played through, too. It's just, it's something that you never really think about. But there's a, there's a very important item that I need to get. Luckily, since we have the Song of Soaring, it won't take me too much time. Like, if I had remembered this any time before now, it would have been unbelievably inconvenient. So one of the most, the second, well, it's not really useless, but the second oddest thing that they would lock away from you is the first reward that you get from getting the fairies. Not this one. The first reward you get from the fairies is the magic bar, and that one makes sense, but the main fairies, the main four, this one isn't really a main fairy because it only takes one fairy to get her. The main fairies take about 15. I think that the last temple has more than 15 fairies, which is no fun. But if you come here while you can be human, you can be a Deku Shrub and still get the reward, by the way. But I prefer to show you the animation of Link getting his shit taken care of, if you know what I mean. But you get a special little mask. There it is. That's what I came back here for. All that for this. When you put on the Great Fairy Mask and there are fairies in the room, that happens. There just so happens to be one fairy left in this room. And I know where it is. This is a room where you have to uh, use all the all the little flowers. This is where the other fairy is. Come here, you. Oh, the grocery store? So here's the other room. It's got a stick. Deku sticks are very useful in this. I'm just trying to center my camera. Uh, we're going to skip all this noise and go over here. There's a fairy in these. Oh wow, really? I pressed A, you f- as landing on a surface? Like, now I'm on a surface. So if I were to fall in the water and die like that, I will go back to that section. There are, I believe, three fairies in this room. There is a fairy in here, if I remember right, where we get a small key. Hello, key. Take off this. Put on this. Here comes the fairy. Right when you need it because uh, if they did... Alright, so we're gonna have a little mini boss fight, if you will. Come on, jump over me, baby. You have to jump out of a flower at the right time to knock them off of their feet. I believe that the map is in this room. It lives in this lovely house, moves around. Oh yeah, that small key. You noticed that there was a door that was locked and it had a nice little silver lock on it. For newbies to the series, uh, why the hell are you even playing video games if you haven't played this motherfucker? So, a lot of people make the mistake of pushing that rock forward when you don't even have to. I am not one of them. It's a lot easier said than done. There it is. Put on your mask. Fairy will come to you. They can go through the floor. They can go through walls. Uh, the bubble pops. If you don't shoot it. Another fairy. There's a stronger version of Link. In the game, pro in case you didn't know. And it's not adult, Link. There's a fairy in that thing, so uh, remember that. First, we grab the rock, and we push it. But I should have plenty of time to do what needs to be done. There's moths that will be following me. I hope you know how to, like, roll and turn. Both of which are very easy to do in quick succession. We're gonna unlock two different things to save time, obviously. Uh, the more you do now, the less you have to do later. 
So uh, you'll notice I always put away the stick between these segments where I have to burn said stick. That's just so that I don't have to get another stick. Now it doesn't matter if it burns away or not. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into a room. This room specifically. Fight time! You can just blow a bubble at him. Go take a shoot. Compass time! Woo! However, we have to be human to make those jumps. If you're a Deku shrub, you can't. We still have our stick, so we'll be able to complete this room's extra challenge. Uh, one of the easiest ways to kill things in this game is to be a Deku shrub and spin. Much like my highest viewed video on my channel, which some people might not even know about because I disabled comments on it, so I sometimes forget it even exists. But uh, there's a song called Spin to Win that I made a while back. I didn't necessarily write the song, but I did write the lyrics, and I did perform said lyrics, and the song. Come on. It is a parody of Paul Stanley's Live to Win. And I disabled comments because I don't like League of Legends anymore, and I don't like the community the League of Legends has created. I don't like Riot as a company. So I got rid of that shit. I don't want people commenting on the video anymore. I don't want to deal with people saying, Hey, I don't like that you did a screaming voice. So uh, I'm just going to complain. Because I'm the authority on what sounds good and what doesn't. It's my way of saying go fuck yourself to people that think that their opinions matter on YouTube. Because trust me, dude, it don't. My opinion don't, and your opinion don't. They don't real. Who that was close. Gonna be an unhappy camper. Oh, shit. Oh, shh. <laughs> I thought I misjudged that. They can run into you before they try to sting you. And that can knock you out of the sky. There are no fairies in that room, by the way. We're gonna hit this button, and then we're gonna go back to town. The reason why I can leave this temple at this point and still not worry about taking too long to finish and use the most of my time for the day is because that is a huge sequence skip for the temple. You may be wondering what the hell I'm up to. Well, there's a guy I need to talk to and he's only available to talk to at night. Uh, you don't lose any of your progress in temples when you leave, which in some older games, that can be the case. Like, everything gets reset when you leave a temple or you leave an area that you're trying to conquer. It's your fault for not watching videos and telling me constantly, Oh, it's, the video is just a little too long. I can't sit here and watch for a half an hour, but I can watch three ten-minute videos in succession on a playlist. It's, it's different. It's different, guys. I'm so sick of how stupid people are on YouTube. and It's just... Their logic is so broken. It's almost scary that people is, that have such flawed logic are trying to reason. Ugh. So we're gonna fly around again. Okay, it didn't finish the song, it just started the lovely Song of Storms. So there are the ladders. So, first thing we're gonna do is get a fairy. Oh, no. That did not just happen. I didn't press forward. He just kind of went forward. Because there's something on the other side of the door that you need to do. Boss fight! Yeah. But the main way to do damage to him is you have to hit him while he's open. Otherwise, he'll dodge or block your attack. So we killed him. He's dead. He's gone forever. He will never be back. So what could be in these chests at this point, you're wondering? The correct answer would be... A hero's bow, if I remember right. And I played this game enough to remember right. Bada bing, I was right. All that aiming for nothing. I am pretty accurate with the bow. Because, uh, I loved the bow mini games when I was a kid. I wasn't good at them, but then I got good at them. And, uh, getting good at the bow mini games in Majora's Mask is almost a requirement of the gameplay. I guess that they spent a lot of time coding it, so they're like, we're gonna throw this in as much as we can. Time for the last boss fight. So we're gonna get our first hit off on this guy. 
Get back on the flower. So this is one of the many fights you'll be fighting. Where you have to um, go between wearing a mask and taking it off to interact with the enemy in a different way. Really? Oh, I guess you can't. I used to think that you'd be able to um, hit him while he's trying to hop to the turtle, but you can't. So, I didn't. Really? Kill him. So, you're better off using your time to get into the flower and ready to jump up again. He only takes three hits, if I remember right. Now, you have to remember what temples have these little frogs in them. Because, as you can see, he turns into a different frog. And for those of you that haven't played this game yet, I'm gonna spoil something else for you. So, I don't know why you would go to a Let's Play if you don't want shit spoiled for you. And if you're playing along with me, you're not gonna be able to keep up, because you haven't played the game before, and it's likely that you won't be very good at it. So why bother? Those frogs can be interacted with with a mask called the Don Jero's Mask. When you beat the second temple, uh, you bring Summer to a winter to an eternal winter land, which is pretty nice for the uh, people that live in this eternal rental land, winter land place human thing. Uh, I'm doing great with time. Oof. I'm I'm a beast. Now for one of the hardest things to do in this game. Light this fucking torch, and it's in the first temple, you know? Get this. Oh, wow. Two tries? Normally, I have to shoot that thing at least five times to get this reaction out of it. Now, we have to do something else in the room. Which is... Aim your arrow so that it... Gets pretty close to that... Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. You want to try to shoot this, uh torch and light it to get a fairy bada bing step you hear me an imperative step to do this in the second temple <laughs> do not forget that you can do that a lot of people forget and when you forget you're punished with sitting there going well damn what, what the hell do I do I can't go anywhere I can't do anything there's this fucking thing in the way that I can't do anything with because I can't light my arrows on fire manually. What the hell is this? But you can. Stupid. So don't forget. That's all I'm saying. Because I'm not going to remind you. I'm going to show you, but I ain't going to remind you. So if you forget and you play ahead of me, it's your own goddamn fault. You see this bad boy right here? There's a fairy in him. So... Here's the last room in the game. Just kidding. It's the last room in the temple. You definitely want to take out these fucking dragonflies as soon as you can. Those things aren't really required. You might want to take him out just in case. Because you don't want to get knocked off of stuff. So, what am I going to do first? The first thing I'm going to do is get two fairies over here and that third fairy that I freed immediately upon entering the room. Silly me. Get a fairy here. If you forget them, you will fail. So here you can see I can see that fairy, so why would I let him just stand there? Let's bring both of these fairies to me. I jump down. Come on down, fairies. Fourteen. Alright, come on, you fuck. What the hell? <laughs> anyway, that's all of the fairies. Okay. So now I don't have to get any more fairies. My fairy quota, full, done, good, over. You may have noticed this little thing over there. You hit that, now you have a timed sequence. Good luck. Pretty easy as long as you did what I did and you don't have to wait for a fairy to come over to you or you don't have to go up there and get the fairy. And I mean, you save time if you do what I do. If you use my technique and you use my strategies, you will save a little bit of time while playing the game, which will make it a lot easier to beat in one sitting, if that's what you want to do. Which is something that I like to do. I like to beat games in one sitting, especially difficult ones. 
Could you have made it to the boss room from there? Maybe. I don't want to risk it though, because if you fall into that water, forget it. So here's the boss room. We're going to go do the boss fight. There is a very effective technique to fighting this boss, but we don't have that option. There's a almost as effective technique that I will try to employ during the fight. But I'm not even going to bother spoiling the really effective technique because that's so vague that you wouldn't even know anyway. You want to spin into him, you want to take off your mask, you want to lock on, you want to bring out your sword. Oh, Jesus. No, fucked me up, so. Because you can't, like, walk up to him, he has this giant sword. Wow, okay, be that way. So he's going to swing at me. You want to spin towards him, you want to try to stun him. It's easiest to do if you just kind of spin into him. And then you slap him with your sword. Oh wow, really? I got like the last frame of his attack animation. And that hit me. I usually spin into him twice. So that I can just double check that I stunned him. You missed me. Oh, I blocked it. Uh, he has a pretty interesting technique to him. Uh-oh. He's saying Speedy Gonzales, and that means that there's going to be insects. If I die on my first run-through, I'm just gonna edit it out, obviously. I don't know why there are bombs in the room. I'm sure that there is an easier way to kill him using the bombs. Oh no, he's, he's doing the thing. Come on, get in the... What the hell? It's not moving. Yeah. When he stands on top of the flower like that, you need to punish him. Alright, now I have to wait for him to summon... To summon fire. Come on, summon fire, you piece of shit. He's not summoning fire. He's just standing there. There we go. Now I have to wait for the fire to go away. You can interrupt him to stop him from summoning these stupid fucking moths. What the hell is he doing? We're going to hit him as much as we can. He's summoning the fucking moths again. Or I don't even know what the hell he's saying, but I'm sure it's I'm sure it means something to somebody. Ah, fuck me, dude. Whoa. You almost hit me, you asshole. There are some times where you can hit him multiple times. Kind of stuck here. Oh, that sucks. Summon. He got. He got free summoning of the fucking moths. There are some attack animations that he gets later on in the fight that are quite annoying to deal with. Fuck! He jumped right next to me. Whoa. All right, I get it. Fire. Thank you. I don't know, like, he's... He looks like an African-American-styled guy, but he does dances that are Native American. And he has weaponry that, like, his shield reminds me of a Native American relic. And he has a mask. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what he's inspired by. He's a cool-ass looking boss. And I think he's really cool. And he's really fucking hard to fight. So, watch out. <laughs> There's this cool mask. Which has painting on the inside of it. And now we get to sit through another fucking cutscene. Recently I've been donating to charity, you know, like every other good person that exists that also does mean things. But remember, we all have a soft side that makes us donate to charity. I like donating to charity. I also like um, donating money towards video games that need to get 
a Kickstarter in order to get somewhere that they want. Uh, I recently donated to charity, and uh, if you donated the most, you got a prize package. So I tried to donate the most, not only because I wanted to support the anti-cancer cause that it had, but also because I liked the idea of the prize package, which you got all these little things, like you get the Bastion soundtrack on CD, which was pretty cool, and a bunch of memorabilia for Bastion, plus you get Bastion. So I have Bastion. I don't know if I'm going to play it, because it doesn't really look like a good game. I mostly only did this just to donate to the charity, and I got something really nice in return. They aren't really worth anything, so I won't be selling them or anything like that. So, there's no need to worry about any nefarious intentions. I've also donated to charity during the uh, card games stream a long while back that, uh, what's his name? <sighs> K Little Karibo? Yeah, that's his name. Little Karibo hosted. And I won a few things from there, but I also donated, like, seven to eight hundred dollars to Hurricane Sandy back when Hurricane Sandy was a new thing. I mean, I was in a very affected area, one of the most affected areas that were devastated by the storm. And there's a lot of people that live here that don't have houses still, even to this day. And there's still some people that are trying to clean up and trying to get new stuff into their house because everything got ruined by the storm. If it wasn't washed away, your house that is, it was flooded to the top. So, it's just no fun. It's just no fun to be in this area. So I donated as much as I could, which was somewhere over $700 that I put towards uh, Hurricane Sandy Relief that was donated to the Red Cross. And a lot of people here were helped out a lot by those donations based on what I saw. I noticed that after the stream, there was a lot more supplies in the uh, town hall. So that was good to see. I was very, uh, I was very relaxed, and uh, it was it was very calming for me to know that even though, I mean, there's no amount of money you could raise. You'd have to raise millions and millions of dollars, which most uh, streamers, even really popular ones and really popular YouTube personalities, they just can't really raise. So they did some benefiting concerts to try to raise more money, but uh, there's really you'd have to make a huge amount of money to replace all the houses and all the stuff that people would be trying to claim from their insurance companies and whatnot. But for what we did and the money that we did get, it was uh, it was pretty good for what was happening. There was a lot of drama surrounding the politics. Like the president supposedly came here and rode around in a fucking helicopter and looked at the devastation and uh, our governor cried or something because he finally saw another leader that would be a relief for him having to deal with all the fucking pressure. We were without power for a long time and the power got restored, which was nice. I hated being without power. Everybody hates when they don't have power, <laughs> unless they never had power. Then, you know, you just kind of live with it because you're used to it. But anyway, and then I also donated to another charity, uh, the Aphex Stream charity. He did Autism Speaks, which the more I learn about Autism Speaks, the less I want to support it, but it's still not all bad. It's not all good either. So you need to put her in a bottle, by the way. But anyway, it's not all bad. It's not all good. I'm not saying that you should not donate to the charity, but their philosophy is not something that I necessarily agree with. But of course, I went there to support Aphex more than anything else. I donated 50 bucks or so towards the charity because I don't necessarily agree with it, but I wanted to support Aphex and help him uh, raise the money that he wanted to raise and helping him with keeping the stream entertaining and trying to help remind people why they were there whenever he was gone and I was in the call. I would remind them why they're there, I would try to encourage donations. I donated the $50 that I did because someone claimed that they wanted to have the most money donated. So I enticed a bit of a bidding war, so to say. But it wasn't really a bidding war, it was like a donation war. It's just so that Aphex could have a little bit more money, because I knew that the kid had extra money. I know he probably wanted to donate more even, but uh, I was happy with the turnout of the stream uh, when I wasn't a part of it. 
like I had to leave at one point to go do stuff but uh, when I wasn't a part of it it felt like the stream kind of toned down a bit so I came back in I livened it up a little bit more try to keep people into it because you don't want people to leave you know you don't want people to just donate and leave you want them to stay and Twitter out about it I also got Colin Mockery to retweet it which got us a few extra viewers which was really nice this Colin Mockery really helps out with uh, any kind of charity stream he's a big uh, supporter of charity but anyway you probably missed a lot of what I said anyway so it doesn't really matter I always go on these long tangents that I just end up editing out anyway <laughs> I don't know why I guess it's just because I like to keep myself occupied as well as playing a game so we unlocked the first reward from the main fairies here which is a doubly powerful spin attack which is uh, one of the only ways to use this sword effectively, but the good news is we're gonna get a much better sword that will money in it, and you know me with money. Being Juox the lawyer, uh, I gotta get the money. 20 rupees in there, that'll bring me over 100 rupees, that'll be good for investing. You always want to save your money, so it's not even the second day yet. I hope you're as proud of me as I am. You know what would be really- it would have been nice if they programmed in something where like these people say WE TOLD YOU TO GO STRAIGHT IN and then uh... and then they get all mad. We can't open the bottle. Yeah, we have to go up to one- that's why I'm waiting, I'm waiting to get over there. But uh... It would have been nice if the princess like yelled at the guards like WHAT THE HELL ARE YOU TALKING ABOUT? LET ME IN MY HOME RIGHT NOW. So... Now she just has some violent sex with her father, lol sex jokes, incest jokes, lol, so funny. Um, that's it. She looks at them like, what the hell are you looking at? She has these tiny little eyebrows. And then the father makes like a small movement to indicate that he got beat up. And now we save Mr. Monkey. Hi, I'm Mr. Monkey. I do my wave thing and cross my arms because... I wave my hair back and forth and whatnot. Reference jokes all day. Isn't that funny? Aren't those reference jokes so lol xd? Blah 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 blah. Let's go get a mask. All right, so we're gonna play the. <laughs> we're gonna play the <laughs> chase the butler game. Don't ask me why I'm laughing. Fuck you. I'm not. I don't have to tell you shit. Let's follow this guy. God damn. God damn. Don't look at the time. Don't look at the time. What are you looking at the time for? You don't need to know what time it is. Fuck you, dude. You don't know what time it is. You don't even know what half the time it is. You don't know that I'm... You don't know I'm doing something sneaky. You don't know anything. Oh, man. Am I glad I'm not doing a race with this. Whew. I'd be so mad right now. I would be fucking freaking out. Ooh, I almost fucked up really hard. In the bad way. You don't notice that there's a thing missing here that should be there. You don't know shit. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know what I'm up to. You don't know what sneaky thing I did. Don't tell me in the comments, or I'll fucking. I don't. I don't care. All right. This is my game. This is my playthrough, not yours. If I wanna, if I wanna be sneaky, I'm gonna be sneaky. So, uh, deal with it. Sometimes you gotta be sneaky. All right, you gotta be sneaky. Um, that's about it. We're just chasing this thing, and I'm denying that I did something sneaky. That's uh, that's the let's play at this point. Don't run into the fucking fire. All right. Under no circumstances are you to run into this fire. If you run into the fire, you have fucked up royally. Even on a bad day, I don't run into the fucking fire. Which, uh, if you watch the videos of Wow Crendor who's somebody who's recently gotten into the uh, ranks of TGS which is great for him he's doing uh, some content with uh, Total Biscuit recently pretty fun they're playing like Blood Bowl or something and he's real fun to listen to except for his voice I mean I don't I don't mean any disrespect to the guy but his voice is it just irks me sorry I'm not saying that you have a bad voice, I'm just saying I can't listen to your voice for hours at a time. He has a very unique voice. He's not a boring guy to watch the Let's Plays of. He doesn't take himself too seriously. Uh, but he's another guy that tries to tell jokes all the fucking time whenever he Let's Plays. And I hate people that just 
want to tell jokes. If you want to tell jokes, be a comedian. Don't be a let's player. Alright, so I'm about to prove a point here. Well done, Mr. Westman. Now, pay attention to this following uh, thing. Actually, when I see you, I'm reminded of my son. Now, you may notice something. I'm not a Deku Shrub, at least talking to me. And he tells you this whether you're the Deku Shrub or not. Which explains why people came to the conclusion that his son is the dead spirit that your mask is based off of. I, on the other hand, think. But anyway, bada bang, swamp spider house. We're gonna talk to this bad boy. I'm not a monster, I'm a human being! Uh, let's go in here, take off our mask. We don't need this mask for a while. You know, so typical that the first room I go into is the room we have to put this mask back on. And it's the only room that we need this mask. Whoa. Once again, it did that extra note. I don't know why it does that. So that's gonna wake up this guy. Who looks more like us than anything else. Like, that looks like us. But that's not what the thing looks like. It's one of the orange ones. Also, it's been sleeping here, so why the hell would he miss his son? Like his son wouldn't be dead in that case. So we have our super spin, so why not super spin, huh? Super spin! And we killed one of the skeletons, and that's the mechanic of the skeletons. Which is a play on tarantula. And I believe that there's another one in this one. Yep. Alright, and we don't need the, uh, the ocarina anymore, but we will need this. There are skeletalas in these hives. Let's see what's in this one. Nothing. What's in this one? Nothing! Wow, I'm fucking... I'm killing out here. What's in this one? All right. What's in the hive? There's nothing to see. There's nothing to see in this hive on my knee. Except for that spider. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, this room must be clear now. No, there's two more left. There's one in here. Which really, if you didn't think to go in here after that whole cutscene with the fucking Deku shrub burrowing in front of it, just out of curiosity as to why they would put the camera in that direction. You're never going to beat a game. Like, you're never going to 100% a game in your entire life. Because you lack curiosity. You need curiosity to kill some cats, you know what I'm saying? Or in this case, spiders. Oh, what a joke. We came in here to hit this. This is the only way to get up to this section, so uh, know your role. You know what I'm saying? Ow. I was supposed to spin down, but I didn't. So I could kill that thing and get this. I'm gonna shoot all of them. Aha! So that's random, by the way. That's the that's a random chance of getting him. Just in case I need to use my bow and arrow at some point later in the game. Hint, hint. Yes, I do. In this dungeon. So! Remember those extra beans? This is why I bought them! And that's also why I got some fresh water! Bada bang! Floating platform so we can kill Skeletalas in style. Now we get to go to the secret room. We're gonna need this mask a lot more. I thought I had more uh, arrows than I did. I do not have enough arrows. Gotta roll into this tree. And then three lovely spiders fall down for you. Now, I can see how some people wouldn't know you can roll into trees, but if you don't know you can roll into trees, you're just not experimenting with stuff. Whoa! Hello. Thank you, glitches. Or bad clipping in all N64 games. B! I'm risking my life. Because if I get stung, there is a chance I will die. Wow, I'm fucking up really hard now. I'm fucking up now! Wow, that was 
worth all that fucking effort. Magic buck. And nothing. There are a few skeletons in this room. Skulltalas. I'm gonna call them skeletons because that's just how I always said their name. So I can't just stop for you. Alright, you're not worth it. Skulltala in the water. Well, uh, it's not that I'm not going to stop, it's that I'm not going to correct myself if I get it wrong. Because really, does it matter? No. Spoilers. I have to blow something up. Oh, shit. Hello. 20 out of 30. Hopefully that goes without saying. Oh, hello. Who could it be now? Could it be? Oh, shit. I'm running out of shit. I gotta be more careful. You can die! Bada bing! But you hear that incessant crawling noise. That means that there is a spider. A little tricky spot. Wow, so good at aiming. Yay! 25. Climbing up ladder. Looking for the door. I found the door. Shooting the spider. So what? Right. If it's any consolation, uh, I'm also experiencing it, so... You're not alone in your suffering. Trust me, I hate the noise as much as the next guy. So, we gotta get some bugs. And put them in the bottle. And drop your shit in. Well, the good news is, during these cutscenes, you don't have to listen to it. So, you give your ears a break. Skulltala! That. Oh, was that a heart? That's a heart. Yes. How did I get a heart? From the rock? Okay, great. Thanks, rock. Dwayne the Rock Johnson, gentlemen. Helping me out every day. Such a great guy. Hello. One more thing. Whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah. That's a reference for one of my friends. Or an inside joke, for those of you who are outside. So as you can hear, there's something in the fucking wall. So what do you do when there's something in the wall? You make the bugs find it. That's stuck in my head. I want it to go away. But it never will. Never will. The Mask of Truth. And you know what? This is my Let's Play, and I want to show you how much stuff I can get done in one day. And by day, I mean segment. I'm not going to correct myself on it, guys, so enjoy it while it lasts. Eventually, I'm going to just stop and assume that you understand that when I say today, I mean the segment. And sometimes when I mean today, it has to do with the day, but you'll know. I'll make it pretty obvious when I'm talking about the very day that I'm working with. Or the day is in the segment of fun times. Or day is in my whole entire segment. How would you like to play a game? Sure, let's do it. You gotta get over 20 points. There it is. Alright, I'm done. Don't have to do any more. And I'm just gonna do one more for posterity. Dun, 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 dun. And I get all my health back. Oh boy. So hard, in fact, I've spent entire days and nights trying to beat it. So, we could be here a while, or knowing my luck, I after building it up like that, I might beat it on my first try. We'll see. I doubt I will beat it. Fuck! Oh, you fuck! What the stuff? Fuck, 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 fuck. All that, I hit the hard to hit thing, I can't hit those. Fuck. 
Oh my god, I got lucky. Got fucked again. That's gonna be enough to fuck me. Yep, I got fucked. Yep, I fucked up. This is the worst. This is easily the worst. Gotta be really, really fucking good. And it takes a lot of fucking concentration because if you fuck up, you're done. So, forgive me for not commentating too much. Fuck! God! Look at how I'm fucking stuck here with nothing! Fuck. I got fucked again! This sucks! I have to kill these things. Fucking tree. I can't do this. I can't fucking do it. I swear to god. I can't. I wanna do it. I can't. I can't shoot my bow fast enough. Oh my god, I can't aim. I can't aim! I can't shoot bows fast enough. Fuck me, I got fucked again. Come on, you fuck. I can't do it. I swear to fucking god, I can't. I can't win this. Oh, I did it. I think I fucking ah. All right, it's done. It's done. No, I'm not bringing anybody here. Fuck you, dude. Oh dear, are you on the field trip? Or are you that expert person finder I hired? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I say you have the voice of a perfect uh, uh, characteristics of the person I want you to find. Yes, yes, I know them. The person I want you to locate is my son. Come on, you know him, don't you? Don't really! I mean, he disappeared about a month ago. That's terrible! I'm so very worried. I can't even food on my throat and I've lost five whole pounds! <sighs> you haven't anything though? Oh dear! Well, could you look for him? Oh um, my, of course you're an expert. I'm counting on you. I need to get the cafe's mask. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. We're gonna play. Hi. This is a boss fight. I wasn't ready for this. And by the colors of the chest, you know that there's something good in a chest that has gold on it. Ba -da -da -da. Oh boy, I got two of them so far. See this guy? He's working. He's a working man. They call him the working man. Where he's from. Uh, that's a rush reference, uh, if you're wondering. In these three day segments, because everybody loves to complain when they want to rate this game low. How little you can do per day and how unfair the time thing was. You never have enough time to do everything. Well, I'm gonna show you guys that you're just fucking bad at the game, and if you're good at the game, and, and even if you do bad, and you aren't doing as well as you want to, it's not so bad because you still have plenty of fucking time to do shit. I'd imagine that if you never knew how to slow down time, you would have uh, no time to do anything. Now, I know there's a chick behind me somewhere, 
but I want to get this one. I want to try to get all the ones on... I pretty much divide this whole map in half. And I try to get all the chicks on one half of it first, and then I go after the second half, because it's a lot faster to do it this way, because, I mean, obviously, you can't walk and run at normal speed, and you can't use your twirl attack while you're marching, or you break the march. So you have to march around like this the whole fucking time, and it's annoying. Almost as annoying as listening to the beep sound, but... Not as bad, because you're listening to this lovely bum ba bum ba bum 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 be bum song all day. So, as you can see, I've turned these things into adults. Which is what that guy is going to ask you to do if you talk to him. What's she going to do, buddy? What's she going to do? With a crest and all, I don't have regrets about anything anymore. I'm perfectly satisfied. Here, you can have this from me. The bunny hood, it's the best mask in the game. I love it cause you can be a human now, you don't have to be a fucking Deku scrub and this game's fucking old. Alright, now we need to put on a special mask called the Mask of Truth that we worked so hard to fucking get to talk to dogs. I'm here for my wife and child, there's no way I'll lose. Dude, <laughs> my paws feeling a little lighter today. I'm ready to go. You want him to say that. I like this one, because uh, the ones when they say, I'm here for my wife and kids, there's no way I'm going to lose. You know he's determined. You know he's a dog that's ready to race. You know he's the dog that came here to bring it. He came here to be the world fucking champion dog racing motherfucker for the day. And he's going to get that first place, even if it kills him. And even if he forgot to eat for the day, he's going to run his hardest. He's going to run so fucking hard, he's going to get first fucking place. I think he got third place. Damn it. <laughs> nope. Third place. Attempt number two. Sea biscuit on the outside wing. Not a good start, but... Oh, he got into fifth place immediately. Whoa, he's jumping up to the front of the race. He's coming into second place. Sea biscuit. He's overtaking the lead. There's a bunch of dogs behind him. They're giving him a good chase, but they just can't quite run fast enough. Sea biscuit taking the lead and keeping it, but he gets overtaken by Gray. But wait, he speeds up. But the golden retriever gets ahead of him. He's retrieving a victory. It looks like Seabiscuit just might have to settle for second place. But is he going to pull it? No. He stays in second. But that's okay. Because unlike Chugga Conroy, who had to play this thing a fucking million times, I got it on my second try. Oh yeah. Sweet hounds of happiness, you play second. Oh, you seem to have won more than 150 rupees. Here's a fucking prize. Well, thanks. No, I don't want to play again. Why the, what the hell? So I have a good amount of money. What do you do when you have a good amount of money? You go back home. Why not play another fucking minigame? Hey! Who doesn't love minigames? The expert course. Will I get this on the first attempt? Let's find out. Keep tapping the B button so you get your sword out, because you need your sword out in order to do this. But you have to use your... You have to use your jump ability. Or your jump slash, I guess is what they will call it. You have to be about three steps away from the target in order to uh, hit it with your jump slash. Because of that mechanic, it can be a little frustrating because you'll kind of like jump next to it. Oh, wow. Okay, that was a little generous, but I'll take it. Oh, these are bad. Alright, I got them. Those two are actually the ones that'll trip you up the most. So these are the last two. Got it? Even though I didn't lock on. Oh, got it. Alright. So on my first try, because I'm the best with jump attacks, I got the piece of heart. Moving along, let's see how much fucking rupees I got. I got 297. Wow, that's almost like I planned ahead for this. But if I told you I was planning ahead with the amount of rupees I have left, I would be fucking lying to you. If you go into the trading post, there's a scarecrow. Hello, scarecrow. Hey, baby, you want to play some music? Let's Let's try a better one. Boom! And next time, we are going to the mountains, baby! Woo! We're gonna save the Gorons from the eternal winter that plagues them, upgrade our sword, probably get a few masks while we're there, and get as many pieces of heart as I can find. And if I can do it all, if I can do the temple in before the first day ends, 
We'll get our horse, too, in preparation for the third temple. So, I'll see you then. I'm a bunny. LOL. So random XD!